Welcome. Welcome to 40 Days for the Sake of a Nation with Pastor Phil, who happens to be me. I welcome you to uh, this show, this this uh, time of ministry, really. What, what I'm attempting to do is, is um, you know, affect and influence the the seven mountains of society, you know, the, 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 the political mountain, the educational mountain, um, the financial mountain, uh, the medical mountain, and all the other mountains that uh, society involves media, entertainment, and sports, and business. So, you know, listen, I, I'm going to get right into it, right? Because, you know, yesterday was, was, a, was a total disgrace to the human race. In particularly Americans with the debate that we saw last night, right? Uh, but before I get into that, I'm going to mostly talk about that and what, what's the Christian's response to watching such a, a, a horrifying event unfold right before the eyes of America. Now, I know that you think, you know, hey, Pastor Phil Marte, you're, you're, a, you're a Trump uh, worshiper, you know. Um, actually, I, bet, I don't bend my knees to Trump. I, I like what he's doing for the country. I like what he's doing for Americans. I like what he's doing for black people and Hispanics. I like what he's doing economically. Um, you know, uh, uh, the prices of, of, of medicine has gone down. Uh, the, the economy has gone up. There's more jobs, especially for minorities in this country right now. And especially before the Chinese Wuhan virus hit us, you know, that was a, a, a political attack. That was a, a globalist attack on us. And whether you want to believe that or not, it's it's up to you. It's totally. But I'm fully convinced that you know the Wuhan virus was created in a lab. It was created in in you know uh, the Wuhan lab in China, not a wet market, but. Um, and, and released and released and I'm not saying it was created uh, from scratch you know, I don't know if there's the ability to do that but it was definitely manipulated and so here in America we see the Democrats in particular and listen I'm going to be vocal about it I don't care if you agree or, or disagree but especially the, the Democrats who, who want to shut down the whole country you know, and you have the the, 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 the the shutdown that's causing more problems than the Chinese virus as a whole. You, you know, uh, the shutdowns are, are creating, the, you know, like people aren't, aren't able to work and people aren't, aren't able to function. There's depression and the rise of depression and suicide and drug addiction and alcoholism is, is going up and divorce. You know, you, uh, I don't know if, if, if it's okay for a husband and a wife to spend 24 hours together in a home. I just, you know, I'm, I'm married and my wife and I, you know, we have, to, we have to find two sections of the house just to, you know, to separate because, um, you know, we love each other. We love, I, I mean, I, I absolutely love my wife. But 24 hours a day, I mean, yes, that's a that's a lot, you know. <laughs> if my wife watches this, she can comment down here, and I think that she would agree that she doesn't want to spend 24 hours with me either. We like pull each other's hair out, you know. But 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 we still love each other, you know. We we would still completely 100% love each other. <laughs> uh, so uh, by the grace of God, you know, because of God. Uh, my wife and I are, are 10 years married and, 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 um, and doing pretty good. And so I'm not backpedaling, but uh, I'm, I'm going to backpedal a little bit. I, my, to my wife, I love you, Ginger. 
So listen, um, so divorce is on the rise. Can you believe that? Divorce is on the rise. And, um, and, and it's causing all this havoc. You know, and then you have uh, uh, the mask situation that's causing chaos in America. I mean, all this stuff is going on, you know. Um, and so, so we have to kind of like take a step back and take a deep breath and say, uh, God, what, what's going on? And then hear from God as to what's going on and what to do next. You know, I'm having an a, a, a issue with, with my podcast room, right? And my computer, and I don't want to touch it because we're uploading like gigs and gigs of information and video. And if I touch it or if I move it, uh, uh, I'm afraid of losing the progress that I made. You know, I don't, so I decided to come out the Studio A. We have Studio A, we have Studio B, and then we have Studio C, the podcast, the podcast room. Um, right now, and so I just said, you know what? I, I have to put out these videos. I, I really want to want to share with you forty days. I want to share forty days with you. Um, moving moving forward. Um, so so moving forward. That's why you see the different you know the different background and the different set. Uh, moving forward, we we have to hear from heaven as to what to do. So the Lord said, you know, Phil, just go out to studio. Um, a and do your podcast from there. So here I am with you guys. And so as a minister, as a Christian, I have to I have to figure out what to do next with God. And thank God that we have a governor who opened up Florida. We completely opened it up. Um, uh, you know, there's no there are no uh, mandates over wearing masks. Now, if your business you want to wear a mask, you can as an employee, and that's what your boss says. Um, I, and I think that's 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 fine and that, that, that's okay. Uh, but I have a lot to say about the mask situation. You know, it's it's a it, it, you know I, I think it's a it's a controlling factor that the Democrats are putting on us the shutdowns the the, the masks and so it's a political thing. And you know, man, when it comes to politics, uh, they're all about the money. They're all about they don't care about they don't care about us. And and, and a lot of Republicans are that way too. Uh, I would have to say that the lesser of two evils is are the uh, the Republicans, and those are the only two we have to choose from. And because of that, then we we absolutely, absolutely have to vote for the better of the two parties. And what I look for most, and you know, you heard my podcast before you know this, but for those of you who haven't. But what I look for most is abortion, in my opinion. Me, personally, number one is abortion. Number two is the freedom of speech. You know, uh, the freedom of religion. If I don't have the freedom of religion, and if they don't, they, if they look to attack the freedom of religion, I, I don't want any part of voting for anyone who comes against my right to have the faith that I feel is right for me and that I know that is right for me and my family. You know, you see how they're coming against uh, uh, the new Supreme Court nominee, Justice uh, Amy uh, Co Coney Barrett. You see how they're coming against her already about her, 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 her Catholicism and about her faith. You know, you have this, this, uh, this mocker. He's a mocker. His spirit, he, he carries the spirit of, of mock, mockery um, in his spirit and his heart. And he's... He, he, I mean, he completely dogged her out, Bill Mayer. And he said that that she's like a nut, like a Holy Spirit tongue-talking nut. And you know what? For her, I would say, you know, take that as a compliment. And, and we don't get mad when they mock us, especially when it comes to mocking our religion and, and the Jesus that lives in us, you know, and our belief and, and, and the Holy Spirit that empowers us. You know, I, you know when people make fun of me, I... I smile. I take it as it's a badge of honor to me, you know, to call me a holy roller and a and a Jesus freak and a and a nutty a nutty tongue tongue talking uh, 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 Holy Spirit uh, uh, guy. You know, I, I mean, I take that as a, and I've been called every name in the book. You know, I've been called every name in the book, and I, I, I take it as a I take it as a, uh, a a badge of honor, a scar on my back. I take it as. I take it as a, a, a lashing and a tongue lashing, whatever you want to call it, but I take it and I, 
I, I send it to heaven and I say, here's one for you, Jesus, because everything that, that they reject in me and everything that they mock, it's really Jesus that they're mocking, but he already paid the price. So it doesn't affect them because really what they're coming against is the spirit of God and not, well, who, you know, and not myself and not me, which even if it was me, you know, I, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. You know, I've been bullied uh, a lot, many years of my life, and, I, and I've taken my licks, and I and I have been a, I've been a, a fighter, and I, you know, I just I, I, I'm a confrontationalist, a confrontationalist, and man, I do not care. I'm 51 years old this year, this month, as a matter of fact, uh, 51, and I just I have better things to do with my life rather than to really be concerned about what people think about me personally. Man, I laid down my life. I'm a dead man. And I live for Christ. And Christ, I do it for Christ. And, and that, that, that comes, at a, that comes at, a, at a heavy price. I have to carry my cross. And, and you know what? Jesus needed help carrying his cross. And I'm supported by people who love me. And I have people that are helping me carry this cross. And I'm helping to carry the cross of other people. And, and together we're... Uh, on this 40-day movement, to, to, to be exact, and to, to use that as an example of what God is doing in our lives, you know? So, uh, so um, I'm, I'm just so, uh, you know, I, I'm in a, in a very good place spiritually in my life, you know? I'm in a very good place. So whatever you people say, it's fine, and, and that's okay, but I believe what I believe, and I believe what God tells me to believe. So if it's of me, I, I completely crush it. And, and, you know, I, I just, I, I put it on, on, a, on the altar of sacrifice because I don't want anything of me to interfere with what God is doing and saying. You know, Jesus said that I only, I only say what I heard my father say. And I only do what I saw my father do. Or I see my father do. Because God is eternal and he's alive today. And so... Uh, um, you know, we see what God is doing and we saw what he did in the past and we're going to see what he's going to do tomorrow. And so that's what we go after. We go after God, what are you doing in my life? So I got to go before God to find out what he's doing. I have to be in tune with what he's saying each and every day. I have to listen to the spirit that empowers me, that directs me, that tells me go to the left or go to the right, you know? And so, you know, we do that. We do that. Uh, and, 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 and moving forward, you know, with all this, all these shutdowns and the chaos in the streets and, and, the, and the political stuff that's going on, uh, 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 look at the sports mountain. You know, you have, you have deceived, uh, hunt, you know, multi-millionaire uh, uh, sports figures that, that um, are defending the criminals of America in, 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 the, in the Black Lives Matter movement. They're, 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 defending the, they're defending criminal behavior. You know, and I'm not saying that there's no police brutality. Listen, I, I'm not for police I denounce police brutality. But I also, I, I, I also, I don't, I'm not saying but, like, I, what I just said doesn't matter. And, and, and I'm, you know, I denounce police brutality. I've been brutalized by police in my past and in my life. They broke my nose. They smashed my face, you know. And so, um, and so I, know, I, I know what it is, you know, living in Miami. These guys don't play over there and, and with the police. These policemen, they deal with some stuff over there. They know how to handle the criminal activity. And I would, and I would say that, that uh, I was, I was in, 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 you know, in the right myself, right? I was in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the midst of, you know, doing something illegal. And, and when I was confronted by the police, you get what I'm saying? So, um, so, but, uh, there's, there's a, a, the police have to protect themselves. If, if you have a knife in your hand and you're not listening to them, listen, it only takes a, a, a you know, a, a split second 
to turn around and stab that guy in the neck. I seen a guy get stabbed in the neck. He did not see it coming. And then the guy caught him in his, or, or, you know, his, his, his uh, aorta, aorta the, 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 the main vein, and the guy was bleeding out. There's nothing you can do for that. So the police are trained to unload on you in a millisecond. Uh, you know, if you don't put down the knife, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna blast you. <laughs> they're gonna unload on you. And not once or twice, they're gonna unload their gun because they wanna make sure you are down so that you cannot hurt them. They, they wanna go home to their family. And then you have the situation out here with, with the kid out in Portland who shot, who, who killed a, a couple of guys. One threw a Molotov cocktail at him and, 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 and the other one had a gun pointed at his head. And another one was, was hitting him on his head with a skateboard. So he's, he has every right to protect and defend himself. And, and um, not that he was out there, he, you know, he was out there to help protect his friend's family's uh, business. So um, listen, you, die by the, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If you're out there doing stupid things, stupid things are going to happen. You have no control of what's going to happen. And that's why God gives us instruction so that these things don't happen. You know, the, 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 he protects us by his guidelines for our lives and his direction. He, you know, we make plans, but he directs our steps. We want to follow the steps of the Lord, right? And so that's what we're supposed to do. So we see this craziness happening in America. I mean, just about, just about every function of life is being touched by politics right now. And, and, and I'll tell you this much, every function of life is always being touched by politics. But we're supposed to be the influence in the political realm, right? We're supposed to, we're supposed to be the, the leaders of the world. We're Christians. We're the light of the world. But what I've seen is that we've been hiding our light as a whole, you know, the Christians, and not me, not, <coughs> I'm sorry, not those who are around me, but we're out there every day. We're out into, in, in the communities. We're out in, 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 in the streets. We, we feel the pulse of America, you know? And, but most of, the, most of the church, and again, I say, if you're the church, right, the body of Christ, and if you're the believers that are active, you're bringing souls into the kingdom, you're, 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 you're feeding the, the hungry and, and, and you're, and you're, and you're uh, you know, preaching the word in love the way that we're supposed to. And you're on fire. I'm not talking about you. Just hang with me for a little bit. I think you're going to like what I have to say. <laughs> you know? And so, I, I, it, so what you do, what, 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 what most of the church, listen, 90, in the upper 90s, most Christians have not shared the word of God and the love of Jesus Christ to another person that never led anyone to salvation. The, the, the act of leading someone to accept Jesus Christ so that he can come and transform their hearts. You know, Jesus is the one that's going to do that. No, you know, President Trump and, 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 and Biden are not, or, or Vice President Biden are, are not going to do this. They're not. But, you know, they can help. But uh, Trump is helping, but Biden is, is not going to help. And so we, this is what, we're, what, what we see in America today. And because the church is not being the influence that the world needs to see, because if everyone who was a Christian right now was to go out and just lead one person to the Lord, we'll see a transformation of America in less than three months. Right? I heard somebody say it, a scholar, a, a, a mathematician say it. That if everyone would lead one person to the Lord, if that's a Christian right now, we would see the 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 the, the, the you know the, the society and the culture of America change within a few months. Can you believe that? So what does that say about you know the majority of believers in Christianity? What what it's saying is that they're not activating the power of God that they have the authority and they have the power to turn on and turn off in their own lives. They're not activating it. They're not doing it. They're not working it. And so what we do is we try to wake up the church. We try to, we go to places and we, we, we see revivals everywhere we go. We're in Sri Lanka. I'll tell you about Sri Lanka. 
uh, uh, what was awesome about it is that you have um, a, a, a organization of pastors and leaders, and you have two different ones, three actually, that we connected with that are hungry to see the transformation of Sri Lanka. So we are organizing the greatest evangelical. Now, I don't know what an evangelist means to you. If it means to you to go from church to church and preach the word of God to the same fish in the same fishbowl, that's not what, that's not, that's a form of evangelism, but it's not true evangelism. And, and, but true evangelism is, are the streets and the highways and the byways and the hedgeways and every creature. You know, we're supposed to preach to every creature in the planet. Now, does that mean like lizards and rabbits? Well, you know, I think we can practice with them <laughs> because we need practice. And so, uh, and so, but it's not happening. So we see what we saw last night with Trump and with Biden, a disgrace to the human race. For those of you that believe that aliens planted their DNA here and we were created and then evolved from alien DNA, the, 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 the aliens out there are looking down and saying, we were about to bring peace to these to our people here, but you know what? Just just forget about the peace. We, from what they saw last night, I could just imagine. <laughs> They're like, just let them blow themselves up, you know? <laughs> what a disgrace. That we saw last night, uh, and and I, and I am and I am uh, you know really upset with Trump right now. I mean he was like a he was like a bulldozer in, in a sandbox last night. You know, uh, one thing that was good that we saw how Biden responded, and he responded with untruths, and he responded with lies, and um, that's just it, it's not surprising. And, but what gets me is with all the evidence that's out there and all the video that's out there, I mean, you know, uh, he, he told Trump that, which was an absolute fabricated lie that, that Trump called uh, the military derogatory terms. And, and, um, and uh, we, we see Biden on camera calling the military stupid bastards. And he said he didn't say that. And so, you know, it, 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 and not just that, the corruption with Biden and the corruption with his son Hunter, the collusion that's happening with Hillary and, and Biden and Obama, um, with Russia, with, with, with Iran. Um, listen, they sent, they sent uh, you know, $150 billion on a pallet to, uh, on a plane to Iran. And was so where, for what? They just gave them a free gift. You, you know, there's evidence out there that that the Obama administration propped up ISIS, who was killing, who was killing and raping and murdering and pillaging, right? And they were killing Americans, and they were cutting their heads off and slicing their necks on camera, on video. You remember that? So, um, you know, and 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 they did nothing about it. Trump went in and, and destroyed them in, within a matter of a, of a year. You know, ISIS is completely demolished. They don't exist anymore. And so um, al-Baghdadi, their leader, he blew, them, he blew them up to pieces. So we're safer in America because of that. Americans are safer abroad because of that. So Trump is doing some amazing things. You know, we have to, we have to kind of put away uh, his, his words and, and just his, his abrasive uh, character. And say, well, what is he doing, actually doing for this country? Because I didn't vote a perfect person, or I didn't support a perfect person and influence people to vote for a perfect person who was, gonna, who was going to do nothing like we've seen in Biden and we've seen in the last uh, four presidencies, or so three presidencies, uh, you know? And we see nothing. Bush, nothing. Bush was a disaster. The two Bushes, globalists, right? And then Obama and the Clintons, the, 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 the last four. So we, you know, Trump comes in and, and he, he, he's done so much for our country. Look what he's doing in the Middle East and, and with the peace that's going on over there. You know, that's the kind of stuff that they should have been talking about in this debate. What Trump is accomplishing. 
right? And then, of course, you add in the Hunter Biden situation and the Bidens and the money that they're getting from China and the money they're getting from Ukraine. He's caught on videotape. His, 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 uh, what Trump was impeached for, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Trump was impe impeached for what Biden is actually doing. And, and that, that's amazing to me, but that tells you the power of corruption in, 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 in politics today. So we're not safe. We're not safe, and the only one that can keep us safe is God. And we're not okay, but the only one we can be okay in is, is God and the Holy Spirit. And that's why we love God and we go after God. And that's why we can be mocked by God, because we know who he is. He loves us. He cares about you. He, he absolutely is in love with you. He's in love with you. So we have to be in love with him. And then that's when we get to see, you know what separates us from experiencing God? It's, it's sin. It's believing that we don't have the authority. It's coming against the word of God. God gives us the authority, right? And then he demonstrates it in the historical book, which is called the Bible. He demonstrates it. It's a historical book. You know that those events really did happen, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, and, and, and the Jews are notorious. I mean, I don't want to say notorious, but they're notorious for keep, keeping uh, uh, records Historical records. You know, they're, 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 they're the best in the world. And it's, in their, it's ingrained in their culture. It's ingrained in their blood and their DNA to keep history and to record it uh, uh, accurately. You know? So, um, so we see all this stuff going on. Listen, we're supposed to act a certain way. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you right now that that the way that Trump acted yesterday was forget it, man. I'm I'm not I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with what he's doing, but what he did last night, uh, I think that even though he he did that, he was telling the truth. Um, another thing he he did uh, was he you know he didn't completely denounce uh, white supremacy or or, or or white terrorism, but he didn't. Uh, but he did, he did uh, uh, declare and call the KKK a terrorist organization this past, last week. So, um, I don't know, it, it, it's, you know, it's up to you. I, I'm going to tell you what, what he's doing for our country is so much better than what the Democrats have done, you know, the last 40, 30 years. I mean, they completely sold out. They, they, all our manufacturing jobs, all our jobs went to China. You know, and they got nothing in return, or very little in return. Our our, our, our car, our car manufacturing. You know, um, this is these are jobs that keep us alive. You know, so um, you you look it up. You know, this is stuff that's really happening. These aren't conspiracy theories. What 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 Biden is doing on on the front of of, of, of corruption is it's it's high level. It's high level corruption. What he's doing, and um, Trump would have been impeached. He would have been impeached. He would have. He did get impeached. He would have been uh, found guilty if he was guilty of it, and he would have probably uh, been uh, hanging his head in disgrace and not hung by the neck. So uh, the double standard is incredible, and it's what this, the enemy does. It's what Satan does, and we have to we have to be the change that we, we want to see. Look, for us when we when we when we conduct ourselves as Christians, we're supposed to conduct ourselves. It through the fruit of the spirit, you know. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance. Uh, 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 you know, which is which is long suffering. Which you know, long suffering really means being, be, you know, just taking, just suffering for a long time, suffering for a long time. It could be through, through the circumstances or people around you, right? Forbearance, uh, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. And we seen Trump went off the rails yesterday. Um, uh, Biden wasn't any better. He called him a clown. And he called him a liar. He said, "Shut up!" And 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 uh, you know, Biden to me is to Biden to me is a phony. I'm sorry, his, his spirit is is just not there. But um, the action in what Trump has done in the past four years uh, proves to me the proof is in the pudding that he does love America. He cares for us, and he wants to do something. But listen, we. Have the power of the Holy Spirit, love, peace, joy, you know, long suffering, faithfulness, gentleness, kindness. And this is how we're supposed to be acting, not 
in the manner that Trump acted. So I pray this over you, right? And I leave you with this. Um, 40 days, we're going to be doing this, and then we're going to go vote. Think about this when you vote, right? None of us are perfect. Not a one of us is perfect. I can't do what Trump is doing. I would, I, you know, I, 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 would be, I would be a lost little puppy in a sea of sharks, you know? And, um, and uh, I, you know, you, most of you can't do what he's doing. And he's under so much pressure uh, with the witchcraft. You know, they're casting spells against this guy. That stuff, is, that stuff has some, some type of energy and power. And then he's got to deal with the corruption. And then he's got to deal with, with the media. I mean, I just intense pressure. So I want you to uh, uh, really contemplate that and think about that and keep him in your prayers. You know, and I'm not saying don't pray for Biden. We're supposed to pray for our enemies, you know? And Biden is our enemy. So we don't vote, we, we don't vote for him. I won't vote for him. Um, this year I'm voting for Trump. Trump. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say it, you know. I, you know, you can unfriend me, you can unfollow me, you can attack me, and you can write all your little nasty little messages. That's fine, but I'm, I'm voting for Trump regardless because of his past. What has he done? And I look at Biden and what has Biden done? And so um, he's hurt this country. He's hurt and sold out this country. And so I want you to really keep that in mind. So uh, let me just pray over you right now. Lord, I pray over uh, everyone who's watching and listening. I pray blessings over them and their families. And I pray, Lord God, for for a direct download as to who to vote for, what to vote for, what to, what to think. And, and Lord, we, we set down our own pattern of thinking and our own mindset, and we set down our, 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 our you know, cultural upbringing and what we've learned, Heavenly Father, the carnal mind, we set it down, we cast it down, and we say, God, we adopt the mind of Christ, and we say, we say, Lord, un, un, unleash on us, un, unveil on us, outpour on us what you want, God, for us. And when God tells us, you and I, when God tells us that this is what he wants us to do, I pray, Lord, that we do it and not shrink back from it because it can't seem unsurmountable, but we can move any mountain through faith with the faith the size of a mustard seed. That's all we need. So we come against doubt and unbelief and we go and say yes and amen to what you have called us to do for this time and this season. Hey, uh, 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 believers in, in, in the Lord, we love you. We thank you. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow.